Hello, I'm Wolfgang Mabry. Ventana Fine Art represented John Nieto for 33 phenomenal years. He was our top selling artist the entire time and was featured annually in Santa Fe's famed Indian market. Today, Ventana specializes in reacquisitions of John Nieto originals treasures being relinquished by people who might be downsizing or by heirs who cannot accommodate another great painting. Before moving to Santa Fe, I had admired reproductions of John Nieto's work. When I finally saw his paintings in person, I was awestruck by their power. Nieto had brought fauvist color design to paintings of peoples and animals native to North America. He always did so with the greatest respect for his subjects and he always took care to let authenticity shine through his signature graphic style. Bold outlines, strategic manipulations of proportion, and striking color combinations would have been enough to make him a huge and influential success. But Nieto also had a rare skill for conveying facial expressions, especially eyes. Those piercing Nieto eyes would often follow viewers around the room, telling stories of courage, integrity, and honor. They draw the viewer beyond the surface and into the private life stories of the animals and people that held meaning to him. Nieto also paid homage to his other heroes, the great artists of the past, including Botticelli, Vermeer, Dürer, Matisse, and Gauguin. During Nieto's last two years, he painted cubist versions of heroes in his Native American history, and he wanted nothing more than to continue his homage to Pablo Picasso, the artist he admired most out of the hundreds he studied and knew by heart. Like many who got to meet John Nieto, I will miss his great intelligence, his personal warmth, and the excitement of seeing new works emerge from his limitless imagination and skill. Happily, we can revisit some of those qualities in a beautiful coffee table book, John Nieto, Forces of Color and Spirit, published by Ventana and now available at Ventana Fine Art.